Hi guys, this is just a quick little video to show you my uh, solar and uh, wind generator setup. Um, these are the uh, the two 200 amp Full River AGM batteries, uh, and as you can see, there's enough room down here for another two to go in. That'll give me 800 amper hours in total. Okay, the three large black wires you can see coming up through the floor. They're the uh, three wires that go up to the uh, wind generator. Now the wind generator, obviously, if there's three wires on the output, it's uh, an AC wind generator. So the heavy wires, the four gauge wires, uh, come up and then it goes across. If we just follow the wires across and up to this unit here. Now that is the uh, brake for the wind generator on the left hand side and that's the rectifier. Okay, now that comes from Eco Installations in Victoria, Australia great little unit. From there it comes out if we follow the wires down 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 okay now it goes into this thing over here uh, that's the shunt. Now the purpose of the shunt of course is for the meter uh, that monitors the voltage and current. That gets connected to the battery and the red wire goes straight on to the positive terminal of the batteries. Okay if we now look at the DC side of things <clears throat> the main feed from the battery comes through the system main fuse. That's uh, 100 and, uh, 160 amp. That then comes around and comes up to that red key, which is the main on off. So I can shut down all of the DC at the same time. Up from there, it then comes up to these two main bus bars. These two main bus bars go out to uh, basically the solar, also goes and feeds DC around the house. There's another set of bus bars above that for me to connect uh, other equipment to. Now if we have a look at the fuses, we've got that uh, fuse on the left hand side just there. That one there actually feeds the uh, main DC out to the house. The one above that, that baby goes up to the inverter. Now this is just a pure sine wave inverter, a little uh, 600 watt job with the remote. I'll show you the remote in a moment. The rest of the DC goes through these fuse boxes and these are located around the house as well. Now just above that is an interesting little item. That's actually a digital timer. That uh, digital timer allows me to turn on things like security lights on the outside of the house. Uh, at the moment I'm actually running, it, uh, running a fridge off it because the thermostat on the fridge is actually broken. So it's doing a wonderful job. Now. If we come up here, I uh, said I'd show you the uh, the inverter remote. That's the inverter remote and you can turn it on off. It also gives a uh, great little display. The main switch is turned off. Okay, so that gives you uh, various readings there about load, the watts that it's consuming, all that sort of stuff. And of course back to volts on off. Now this big silver box, let's talk about this for a moment. Okay this has got a fuse in the uh, positive line. This is the controller. So what this does is basically it sits there and monitors the battery voltage and once it reaches 14.5 uh, volts the uh, relay clicks in, that's what you can hear, and basically puts a resistive load across the top of the batteries that's a little fan to keep it cool and that's the uh, main display that will uh, go into the door of these cupboards that I'm custom building and you can see there the graph on the right hand side is down to zero that's because I've just turned it off and turned it back on to finish up some wiring what do I do with the load? okay well we have two DC fridges remember this cupboard's just being built uh, that's the upright Waco 60 litre and down here we've got uh, another Waco 60 litre. It then uh, goes off, of course, we've got the 12 volt widescreen TV. And the house is wired with all of these LED lights, which really pack a punch. Alright guys, that just gives you some idea of the system we've got. Uh, any comments, love to hear them. Thanks guys.